What's up, guys? Time to show off a new build. This is a, uh, a hammerhead dial. But what's really cool on this dial, whenever I can move stuff out of my way to get my hands over here, um, it's kind of ghosted uh, on the dial. And it's pretty awesome looking, but it's very hard to photograph. So, um, it's like straight on, you almost can't see it, right? But it's like a, uh, a blued steel. So lasered out pips all around. You got your hammerhead going around the, uh, the anchor. Did a set of black paddle hands in there. And it came up pretty awesome. This is in a brushed case. This is a new bezel. It's a uh, raised coin. And it went on real tight, which is what I prefer. So I'm probably going to start buying some of these from this guy. They were a little expensive, but that's okay. Um, if they work, that's great. Then I have a um, black Yachtmaster style insert. Um, indices are raised on it. And... Um, Anchor engraved crown, did a uh, blued steel anchor engraved case back, and then a couple things on this one. I did a Milanese band. This is a Milanese that is has like a deployant clasp on it, which is actually pretty nice. And then I also included, so you've got your quick release here, I've also included some lug extensions. So, um, what I have found is this case that I like to use, often when you put a leather on it, the leather, there's only so much room inside here, and the leather normally rubs against this. Well, the section it doesn't rub against is this notch, which it's hard to see, but it's right in front of my left fingertip there because it's, it's not focusing. Let's see, can I get the focus? See that little slit right there? That's for the case back to go down in, and then this lock ring goes around there. So the case back doesn't spin, just the lock ring does. Well, then the leather doesn't go into that hole, and everything looks distressed except for the middle. And what ends up happening is it looks like the middle is what's distressed. It looks like it's the weird thing, and it's actually the original thing. So with these extensions, if you ever go to put a leather on it, you can take your Milanese off and you can put a leather right here because even if it's tight, it's going to equidistant rub against that rather than having a notch in there. So, um, took forever to get these uh, extensions in. And this is almost impossible to do looking through a screen. So let's do it in real life. Got it? So, um, but those will just be on there. So you can take them off and go right straight Milanese, but there is some nice flexibility because like, I'm gonna take a picture of it. How do I, that's weird to take a picture of it, right? You can't really take a picture of it. But this deployment clasp and with this piece on there that folds under, I was able to actually take pictures of it. The other way was a little awkward because this would do that. It's just the distances on here. But as they would actually take pictures with it like that. So, quick release, you just pull it down, it pops right off. This just goes over and you can just push it on. It's a squeeze remove, brushed finish. Actually looks really, really nice. Um, so, uh, first time with that style dial, first time with running these extensions. I might have done it on a leather though. I might have done a leather with one of these. So, maybe second time extensions, but first time with Melanie's um, going out. Um, and then first time with that bezel. Not the insert, the bezel. And then those raised ends and see indices pop up, which is kind of cool. So that is the build. I don't have a hammerhead box. Um, oh, it's a custom painted um, second sand. We did it in black, and that pip is actually purple paint, but you almost can't tell it's purple because of the way that it goes in with that blued um, shark. It's actually purple. It's 
probably a couple there you can see see that how it's purple but when you do that that even looks purple so kind of goes nicely with that so but yeah look at that straight on it's hard to see what's going on you can tell what the hands are going on and then you can see it with that because everything's kind of blue and then my light that I have across the room because last night I needed it and it was across the room over here it's never where I need it just so you can see those pips so it's lasered out and backside loomed and you can tell you can't see the second sand because it's purple paint not loom so that's the build as with every build it's going to come with matching beads it's also going to come like i said i don't have a uh, hammerhead box but i do have some bvw bvw special edition boxes uh, uh, don't want to mumble my name um so it'll come with watch cleaner so it's good on all glass and metal so this watch as a whole non-streaking non-toxic non-residue along with a microfiber and then it will also come with some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2, just repackaged. It's like a poly watch. It's for your acrylic glass, which you can scratch. If you do, no big deal. Put a tiny bit of this on it and buff against it using your included microfiber. The scratches up and down, go left and right, filling that scratch. And um, just haze it and buff it out. And it should be gone. If not, let it solidify, come back and do it again. And I just remembered because it's been a minute since I've done a video. I have like four to do. Um, I'll show you the bezel. Bezel will turn left, it'll turn right. It's 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 a tension ring bezel. Automatic mechanical, so you can wind it where it put it in a watch winder, but if it's dead or you're not gonna be very active, make sure you back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking. You'll see it's off the threads. And you can wind, and a wind is turned that way. Turning it this way doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to keep your finger spacing and just go back and forth. If you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you'll keep time throughout the day. And if you do it for something closer to 20 seconds, you're gonna max out that 31 plus hour power reserve on it. You cannot overwind it, so don't worry about that. When you're happy with your winding, you're just gonna pull it to the one and only click. Set your time. You'll notice you've got a wobble crown that deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement, so when you're pushing and prying on it, you're not putting any adverse pressure against that movement. Okay, Google, what time is it? 11.51 a.m. Very good. Push it in. Get it out of that time setting. And uh, that's it. Normally I go over that like in the middle, kind of when I'm showing off the watch. But I think maybe this distracted me when I got into the band and then didn't get back to it. But uh, that is the build. If it's going to you, congrats. Um, this might be a mystery build for a while, so you might not be seeing this video before I've introduced the watch. It might be like, hey, this watch is going out, and then I post the video up. So if that's you, congrats. Um, I've got some mystery stuff. So uh, this one might actually make it out there because I didn't have anything in silver. I think that was the intent, was to have an option on my page that was silver. So this is probably not going to be a mystery build, but I've got two mystery builds sitting over there that I'm going to be doing videos for. And uh, that's the intent. If I, if this weekend somebody takes a watch that one of these could replace because it's a similar style or something like that, then it's already ready to go. You know, always, you know, never know when I can work on stuff. So when I have the time, I try and get some backup stuff going. So that's the story on that. But appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for uh, the support. If you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.